what's good y'all it's your boy dj triple six back up in this bitch you know what i'm saying man do i got a fucking treat for y'all today y'all remember the chopped and screwed karen saga the screwed up karen saga yeah it gets better bro it gets better <laughs> and we're gonna see what he looks like what he sounds like all of this crazy shit and am i gonna do a big crazy build up and build all this anticipation and make y'all wait to see what he looks like no this is him <laughs> wait till you see the <laughs> no 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 <laughs> 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 Look at the top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> oh yeah, he's back with the vengeance. Number two, he tried to expose me. I haven't watched the video yet besides like the first 60 seconds. The video is 46 minutes long and it's terrible. The production's terrible. It's all fucking terrible. Now, for those of y'all not familiar, I do suggest you go watch part one of the Screw Karen series. But to summarize real quick, I had a customer, right? And he is the most disrespectful little twat that has ever existed. And I document all of that in detail in part one. So if you're really not familiar, go familiarize yourself. I show all the text messages, everything. This guy is a fucking douchebag from fucking hell, right? Anyway, last time we left off, I said I was no longer going to do work for him until he did a full apology tour and all of this and that. He made it right, made amends. So I decided I would do another video for him and he's paying me, obviously. However, right after that, he starts to shit again, starts getting disrespectful, bro. I can tell this guy is used to speaking to people in customer service roles like they're pieces of shit to get his way, but he's also got severe mental issues, right? And we're going to play his video right here in a second, all right? Yesterday was uh, the, the little cherry and whipped cream on top. He called my daughter a little bitch, said my dead homeboy is a pussy and all this other shit. Last time I spoke to him, bro, was about a month ago. And I said, your video will be done by March 25th, which is tomorrow. I'm dropping this video on March 24th, right? Until he made those comments. You're not getting nothing now. The only way you will get a video from me, homie, is if you're on your hands and knees groveling begging for my forgiveness and I'll think about I'll think about forgiving you all right and making your video but I can't make no guarantees I have all the receipts to show this guy's been a disrespectful douchebag he goes on in the first 60 seconds of his video to say he doesn't understand why I do what I do and my responses I the whole community's on my side with that bro it's clear as fucking day that you're a fucking fruitcake right and you try to talk shit to me. And finally, bro, I've just had enough. I'll call him a little bitch, a little pussy, a fucking disrespectful faggot. I'll tell him, shut the fuck up. Like, it doesn't matter, right? So I'll take you through the turn of events real quick, okay? Homie gets another video done, and I tell him it'll be done by March 25th. I make a point. I have a protocol for this guy not to speak to him. Take your money. Okay, your video will be done on this date. And then I drop the video. That's it. I'm not trying to talk to him, right? The other day, he just starts tweaking out on me again, bro. Tweaking. And I tell him, I'm not playing your fruitcake games. Go somewhere else with that shit. And he just keeps talking shit, keeps talking shit. And then yesterday, he messages me and asks me for a snippet. And I'm like, bro, I don't have no snippet. I'm not giving you a snippet. The video's not even done. Like, I'm not doing it. It's more work. Take my word that your project is on schedule and it'll be done the 25th. That's all you need to know. I don't need to prove anything. He then goes on to say, I'm not allowed to upload it to my channel. He's not the original artist. He's just paying me to, to do music that he likes. You have no, you have no say in what I upload on my channel, dog. And then he goes on to threaten me. If I speak a word about him, he will expose me. I told him, go ahead. I said, upload it, upload it. I want you to, I want you to. And I said, we'll play it on stream and I'll monetize that shit, right? That's basically where we're at, right? And then he tries to get under my skin, calls my daughter a little bitch, this and that, this and that. You did not get under my skin. You did not irritate me because I'm used to little douchebags like you on the internet that try to say trigger words. It's not going to work, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to work, bro. I've been doing this shit a long time, bro. I got thick skin for the internet, right? Let's take it over to his video. You can go watch the original video if you want, but 
we're gonna watch some of it and i'm gonna debunk it as i go so i'm gonna be hitting pause calling that bullshit, right and then we're gonna go see what this faggot looks like and what his content's like all right i've just had enough with this guy bro and it's I, mostly I, just a black screen so you like there's not much to see the channel's east side gaming i'm not trying to hide this or anything bro like y'all can go watch this bullshit if you want man this is why i fucking i am smart okay i am smart i was ahead of the curve that's why i made the screwed up Karen saga when I did because now I got all those receipts stamped into fucking history. But anyway, let's get into this dude's bullshit. All right, yeah, what up, what up, y'all? Over here, uh, doing my recording right now. Uh, it's gonna be about my first six months uh, working with DJs in the music industry. Now, yeah, it's been actually pretty decent. It's gonna be a small video. I ain't gonna drag y'all through here. Really a book. This is going to be a small video. It's 46 minutes long, and I had to put it to 1.5 times the speed just so we can fucking hurry up and get to some points. But, uh, work with about three DJs uh, in a six month process. Sorry, I work about three DJs in that process time frame, and uh, it's been good. I've gotten good work from all three of them. Uh, it's just uh, dealt with one who I don't understand where this one this guy was coming from he doesn't understand where i'm coming from but i just showed text messages and shit at the beginning of this where he called my daughter a little bitch and how disrespectful he really fucking is and it's all documented he's showing the video the worst customer in history that's about him it shows that i was nothing but respectful to this guy and he just treated me like i was a fucking dog with rabies and just fucking kicking me and kicking me like my best friend died my kid almost died and got flown five hours away. And this guy had, it was like a two week delay or something like that. Like nothing fucking crazy. And he had a completion date, but he still wanted to talk shit because he didn't get it when he wanted it. By the way, my best friend really died. These are his fucking ashes. So he doesn't understand where I'm coming from. This guy is mentally fucking ill, bro. Uh, you know, the first thing is he, you know, he does a lot of things. He just tries to explain that, tells me that there's industry, uh, these industry standards. And then I fact check him and find out this guy's not even uh, as connected in the industry as he's claiming. He doesn't go on to list any of his fact checks or his sources or where he heard this information. Everything I say is true. I'm a former chop star for OG Ron C. That is true, verified, official. Other DJs in the community can verify that. Number two, I am a former Swisha House collaborator. Specifically, I collaborated with Mock Tub, and there's the, the, the tapes and the tracks exist. It, that's a real thing. Mock Tub was also a Slab All Stars DJ, one of my DJs. Uh, number three, I'm a screwed up click affiliate. We have multiple original tracks and videos with SUC. Also, uh, June 27th, we got to host it for 2021 and 2022. Here's one of our original videos with SUC. It's an original track. Like, yeah. Um, and number four, I'm CEO of Slab All Stars, which is 110% correct. I have my own mobile app. I can pull it up on my PC right now. Look at that. Slab All Stars chopped and screwed. This is just the PC version. Right, but this is exactly what the app looks like. You got fucking the home section, the radio section, video section, MP3s, and uh, the other, the about and shit. But yeah, I'm not who I say I am, even though he go does not go on to list where he fucking heard this information at all. This guy is, oh man, he I can't imagine like anybody he's family friends in real life he must have none left bro because this dude i guarantee has went psychotic on all of them weird motherfucker bro uh, he's trying to tell me that there's this need for delays and how delays are organic process or, how, or <clears throat> delays are organic uh component of djing which i no i did not say they are an organic component of djing i said delays are extremely common in the industry so much sometimes that they're more common than being on time. I didn't say it's an organic part of DJing. I never said that. 
you're 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 just making up bullshit and notice this guy doesn't go on to list any anywhere i've said this anything he's just got a screenshot of my video in the comment section and he's not even talking about the comments I don't understand. so it was like what well he's kind of the first dj i was working with so i'm like uh, are all these djs just kind of like addicts drug addicts some shit is, is this how the standard you know i'm like just be high and shit doing whatever behind it i don't know but super duper high man yeah just i'm on heroin right now i just boofed heroin up my ass right before this video it took for me to work with uh, two other DJs to really find out who, you know, who quality DJ was. Somebody, you know, these two other DJs actually have a decent name for themselves in the streets. And this guy, he's kind of bluffing his location and a lot of troll. He talks about a quality DJ, bro. Everybody on my channel knows my skill. That's why y'all are here. I am one of the best in the world at this shit, especially with everything I can do. My streams, my videos, my mixing, my live mixes. Like, bro, full studio shot. Slim K don't got this. Nobody else got like, come on, man. This dude's just spouting off pure bullshit. And he's saying I'm bluffing my location. I make it clear all the time. I'm right now fucking living in Michigan. But I'm plugged the fuck in in Houston. Been to Houston. We shot videos in Houston. Like, I'm not bluffing anything, bro. Chopped and Screwed is based out of Houston. Which, by the way, this guy doesn't even live in fucking Houston. He doesn't even live in Texas. And he sits there and he spouts out shit talking about you won't be in the south side on MLK day. Neither will you. What the fuck are you talking? Bro, this dude is mad weird. Pro stuff. And I really found out this guy was truly like just a, a, a gamer. Former gamer, live streamer, you know, who's, you know, a family man somewhat. Like a family man who's just, you know, moonlight. I'm a former gamer. No, bro. He's No, none of that's true. Do I play video games? Yeah. Do I stream them sometimes? Yeah. Do I have a family? Yes. That shit's true. But I'm not a former gamer that's pretending to be a DJ. He goes on to say I'm moonlighting to be a DJ. None of that's true. It's all fucking bullshit. This guy is just making up lies. At least with my videos, bro, I'm hitting y'all with screenshots and straight facts. The only screenshots this guy can pull up is the recent ones where I'm calling him a bitch and a pussy and a little bitch. And I don't fucking care. Post that shit, bitch. I, as a DJ, so yeah, you know, discovered that, and then you know he pulls a stunt where he tries to tell me, you know, tries to use his family and his 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 family uh, sick family illness and his family and death within his friends friend group to like uh, you know justify the uh, delay. I don't, that was like the last straw for me, so I pushed back, and this dude. Uh, runs to his channel and uh, does all this whining to his um, friends, his uh, live stream. This guy disrespected my dead best friend, all, all this other shit, my kid, but I was whining to my channel and my friends. He's such a little pussy, dog. I would smack the fuck out of this dude in real life, and I would love to. I would love to just fucking smack him bro oh spit on my hand and open hand smack the fuck out of him like the little pussy ass bitch he is i bet he gets his ass beat regularly dog <laughs> oh my god yeah i was whining he then goes on to say that uh before i live stream i organize it and make phone calls and i don't do any of that bro i go live and then after i'm live i'll share my link like what the fuck are you friends that he calls before he goes on live and tells him he's going on live so all this popping circumstances bullshit is like dude i've seen wizard of oz before you know i, I you know and it was given is all this wizard of oz vibes in it and like uh oh i love that's one of my favorite parts he says i've seen the wizard of oz and he's it's wizard of oz bullshit what what does that even mean what does that mean bro what does that mean I want you to tell me what that means, bro. Uh, all right. This dude is just uh, over here kind of you know, freestyling and bullshit to me. And he's, like I say, he's using his friends as, he's using his friends and his family as an excuse to delay projects. And I'm like, dude, you had a, you already trying to tell me that you need a month to complete projects, which I'm still understanding. He's the only DJ that's pushing this bullshit, you know? So. I want to take a month to do a project guess what you're not the only person in the world that exists dumbass i have other clients 
just in the next couple days i have multiple fucking projects due you guys don't even have any clue how many videos are on this channel right now that are privated that you can't see because i'm waiting for the actual artist to say i can drop it like if i want to take a month because i have other customers i can if you don't like it go somewhere else this guy's really a big waste of time. He's also trying to make content out of his bad customer service, which I, right then and there, I kind of figure, okay, this has to be just for his friends to see. And he's like this weird Wizard of Oz type guy. He has to keep up this. Oh, what the f Wizard of Oz again? It, he's saying that I'm like the wizard in Oz. Is that what he's saying, bro? Like, I'll be the wizard. That dude had, had mad cool shit, bro. <laughs> what is he talking about? I'm the Wizard of Oz with my friends, bro. <laughs> Persona and bullshit. So, yeah. And then, but all of that would really provoke me to uh, get go more deeper into the industry and connect with better DJs and really pull this guy's car, you know? And a lot of them did it. They were like, hey, yeah, this guy, he's bluffing his location. He's bluffing his connections. You know, he he's bluffing y'all. Bro, I, I know it's probably annoying that I paused it every two seconds, but every two seconds he's making up bullshit. I've never bluffed about who I am. I already stated my four main credentials earlier in this video. I make it clear all the time that I'm independent. And you guys regularly see who I interact with on my streams. I'm plugged in with some of the dopest DJs in the community. And we do we collaborate sometimes. And you can see that on the channel. They're featured on my mixtapes. I'm featured on theirs. I'm fucked, bro. I have projects coming up with usual suspects, all the shit. And they're some of the dopest DJs in the industry. What the fuck is he talking about that I'm bluffing, bro? For 90%, I'm independent. I don't want to fuck with nobody anyway. But 10%, I got real homies out there in the industry that I fuck with, bro. And I've worked with huge artists too. Like, this guy doesn't deliver any fucking facts. He doesn't deliver any facts. He doesn't deliver any proof. It's just all rambling, incoherent bullshit, bro. Now, for me, bro, I can, like, pay attention to shit at a real high rate of speed. So I could put this video on two times the speed. Right now, it's only on 1.5. I could put that bitch on two times the speed and get done with it in 20 minutes. But I know that's going to be too fast for this video. Because some people are just not going to be able to catch that. And that's fine. But man, if, I wish I could play this whole thing on stream, but we're only five minutes deep and my video is probably twice as long already. You know what I'm saying? We'll give it a little bit more and then we'll go expose who the fuck this guy is. Oh, he's, oh, he's, and if you want to go watch the original video, it's on Eastside Gaming. You can go watch the whole video, bro. I'll promote it for him. You want to expose me, pussy? There's nothing to expose, dog. And I've never lied about living in Michigan. None of that shit, dog. Like, get the fuck up out of here, my boy association that he has in the past you know and he's using old tags uh, on his old drops and tags on his mixtapes and in his projects he's dropping so it's got like a real troll you know and uh, it's a real troll so i'm just out here you know detailing my six months first six months in working with djs in the music industry you know uh creating barrier bringing a lot of barrier music to you know some of these djs and getting fucking love this screenshot that he posted right here and i'll put it on full screen this is uh during episode one right he was talking mad shit to me and he said he wanted a refund and i said okay i'll give you a refund i said your refund has been processed the amount of five dollars will be paid per month for 40 months <laughs> beginning december 28th 2023 <laughs> That's a year from now, dog. <laughs> At the time, that was one year. So he had to wait a year just to get the first $5. Yeah, because guess what? It's right in the, our page bio. We have a strict no refund policy. He ended up getting his video done anyway. So he didn't get ripped off or none of that. And that's what he's not letting anybody know either is all the shit that he's just talked about is in the past. And he got his video. I made him do a full apology tour to me, and then I told him, I'll do your video now. So everything he's whining and crying about is all old news anyway, bro. We'll give it one more minute, and then we'll go look at this guy's other content. And if you want to go watch this video, be my guest. Getting you know, some barrier, you know, deep cuts, favorite tracks.
from a Barry perspective, because you know, you know, you notice a lot of you know, a lot of time Barry, you know, people just pick you know little few things, but you know, we're getting our voice now this year, so it's gonna be great. But yeah, you know, it's a quick story time about you know this experience, but on the good side, you know, ran into great DJs, um, great regions, we're really holding it down out there in the streets. So uh, dealing with this, he's talking. Uh, when he's talking about, he ran into great DJs. He's talking about all the D the DJs that I showcase on the Bad Chopped and Screwed show. He hasn't. He hasn't worked with any of these people, bro. This guy makes it sound like he's this big, high-level marketing genius and businessman, and he's not, bro. He lives off SSI because he's fucking crazy, and he gets videos done. It's not that special. You're not that special, bro. You get social security because you're fucking crazy, and you've already confirmed that to me, and you fucking buy videos for me from time to time. You're not out here putting on the fucking the West Coast and all this other shit. You're a fucking poser, dog. You're a little poser pussy ass bitch. And that is the biggest ironical fact of this all. Is he wants to sit there and make up these lies that I'm not who I am, say I am. Apparently, I just don't know how to DJ either. Even though there's hundreds of videos of me doing it. Right? I'm lying about who I am. Meanwhile, this guy is the actual fucking fraud. He's, he's acting like he's this big dog, bro. This video, probably in its whole fucking lifetime, will get 100 views. Maybe. I'm not worried about it. I'm not slighted by it. Nothing. Nobody's going to watch your video. Majority of the views you're going to get on this video, homie, are going to be because I showed it on my video. Because of me. You're welcome. Come give daddy a kiss. Little bitch. <laughs> we got 30 seconds left and if y'all want to go watch the rest you can i'm gonna fucking go through it from a little bit here and there today probably in the next couple days i'll finish the rest of it because i'm not i'm not listening i can't listen to this guy for 46 minutes bro dj really also kind of led to that so you know his bullshit that he tried to push to me which i you know you know when i really DJ, it's on one it's on one 1.5 times speed which is extremely fast imagine how slow this guy would be talking on if it was at regular speed just want y'all to remember that that's control wizard of oz bullshit and he just really wants to uh i don't know maybe this, you know this was some pandemic hustle he thought of and you know they ran a ride when he came to me i guess because i see his channel slow now and the craziest thing is too is that when the year this happened this guy uh that the year, uh, the year this happened, the month I started, you know, really rocking with him. I got my first project from him. He posted it on his channel. Is when he had his best month. You know, so that's when he had, he had his best, best month. When the first, first month, month I just... yeah. See the arrogance there. He claims that when he started working with me, I had my best month. That's false. That's completely false. That's false. He's only done a couple things with me, bro. So. You're telling me that a video you paid me to do that's not yours at all is when I had my best month? Bro, YouTube has analytics. None of that's fucking true. My average channel views right now is about 10k a month. That's average. That's that's on me, baby. That's myself. You don't even have 10,000 views on your fucking channel probably. Period. This is what I mean, dude. This guy is just mentally fucking ill. So I said in my comment, damn, this is a horrible production. LOL, LOL, LOL. Just watched first. Oh, first six minutes. And you showed zero proof of anything and rambled like a moron <laughs> all the views you will get on this will be because of me you are welcome baby girl Damn, this is horrible production. I just watched the first six minutes and you showed zero proof of anything and rambled like a moron. All the views you will get on this will be because of me. You are welcome, baby girl. 
Let's go see this dumbass's other comment or uh, content real quick. Bay Area Massacre, Oakland Hood Tales, 24 views, 37 views, 9 views. He's trying to be like, I don't know, this mix between academics, mix between um, hood vlogs. He's also taking the music that I do and uploading it. He did give me a tag in this one, right? This music is by me. But yeah, I'm pretending who I am. Bro, y'all know that was sick. Y'all heard that scratching? Yeah, that was me. That was your boy. He tagged me. That's my channel, Chopped and Screwed Music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it's just music, which is whatever. But now he's trying to make other shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This dude's just weird as fuck. Now, I already know what he's going to do. He's going to claim that... Uh, because I'm about to upload this video that um, I can't show his likeness or I can't show his video. Yes, I can, pussy. As long as I link your video in the description, you can't strike it because I shared it. It's fair use, 1976 Fair Use Act. So listen, bro, you don't want to get videos made about you. You should probably stop telling lies about people. And like I said, anybody in my community that wants to go watch the rest of that fucking lying ass bullshit video, Y'all know it's straight lies anyway. But if you want to watch it, the link will be in the description, all right? And hey, uh, Eastside Gaming or BSM or whatever your name is this week, all the views you're going to get on that video is going to be because of daddy, okay? Don't worry, daddy will take care of you, baby girl, okay? Listen, baby girl, okay? Daddy's got you, all right? You fucked with the wrong one. I didn't even tell him how my wife got on your ass because of your fucked up comments either. This guy has made such fucked up comments that my wife had to get involved because of the shit he said about our kids. Yeah. My wife's a whole different kind of animal, bro. This guy's a fucking douchebag. Through and through to the end of time. And listen, listen. If you send me a video of yourself groveling on your hands and knees, I might forgive you. And then after this, we can continue working once I get that video of you groveling. And it will, I'll charge you $600 a video and $500 for a mixtape. It's your boy 6666, baby. I let you, boy. God, this guy is such a fucking, just a weirdo, man. What a weirdo. What's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ Triple Six. Hey, real quick, make sure you download the Slab All Stars mobile app, the number one chopped and screwed mobile app in the world for 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Unbeatable, baby, on all platforms. We'll see you about 2023 when your boy remake this video. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you want to get any music chopped up, whether you're an artist or just a screwhead fan, hit me up. I'm a former chop star for OG Ron C, Swisher House collaborator. I'm currently Currently a screwed up click affiliate and I'm CEO of Slab All Stars, the number one shopped and screwed team in the world. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's a world champion screw DJ, so you're in the right hands. You can contact me 24 hours a day. My phone number is 989 267 0041. All of my contact information is always in the bio or the description of whatever page you're on. So just head over to our bio and you can hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Also, make sure you catch our live streams, man. The Bad Chopped and Screwed Show, the number one chopped and screwed show in the world. You can live interact with your boy on the live stream. You know what I'm saying? And get your comments on screen for millions to see. It's your boy 666, baby. I'll let your boy.